بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in defense of the da'watu salafiyya published under the supervision of Sheikh Abu Abdul Rahman Yahya Silmi As-Sailani Hafidahullah Ta'ala Ignorant people spread lies and slander against scholars of Ahlus Sunnah this is not new in the history of this ummah similarly they claim that Sheikh Yahya Silmi calls people in Sri Lanka and India to follow him alone and he does not introduce scholars to the muslims this is a foolish claim we will leave fools at their levels as imam bin ba said leave men at their levels we would like to clarify to the muslims to save them from lies fitna of these ignorant people and to inform the ahlul ilmi wal fadl here we bring to the scholars and true salafi da'is some of our works in spreading the advices of our scholars upon the guidance and supervision of the defender of as sunnah as salafiyya sheikh abu abdul rahman yahya silmi as sailani hafidahullah ta'ala in this lecture published in our channels Sheikh Yahya Silmi As-Sailani advised all the da'is and Muslims to learn tawhid from Sheikh Salih Al-Fawzan, Sheikh Abdul Razak Al-Badr, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasir Al-Barraq. He also used to advise us to translate speeches of Sheikh Al-Albani, Sheikh Rabi and other mashaykhs of Sunnah. We shared these English posts of our scholars Sheikh Sulaiman Ar-Ruhaili, Muhammad bin Hadi, translated to Tamil language also upon the advice of our Sheikh Ihya Silmi As-Sailani. He strongly advised us to spread this video with voice of Sheikh Muhammad Aman Al-Jami everywhere and Sheikh Rabi's explanation about shirk. Sheikh himself posted clips of Sheikh Abdul Razak Al-Badr He also translated many articles of our ulama's into Tamil long ago. Some of their names are Sheikh Muhibuddin Al-Khatib, Sheikh Zaid Al-Madkhali, Sheikh Ahmad Saad Hamdan, Sheikh Ali bin Zaid Al-Madkhali. In the recent book published in Tamil language, E article in English on the deviations of Jamaati Islami. Sheikh Ihya Silmi As-Sailani concluded by advising all Muslims to benefit from scholars of the past and the present. May Allah have mercy on them all. Sheikh Salih Al-Fawzan words are mentioned in Beware of the Ahlul Hawa, People of Desires, and Should We Follow a Madhab, has Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah's words, which is translated to Tamil language. Stubbornness in matters of fiqh are from the traits of the hisbis. This has Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi Hafidahullah's words. On Palestine issue, multiple quotes were mentioned from Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin's advice, Sheikh Mugbil bin Hadi on misguidance of Hamas, Sheikh Al-Albani on Jews and Palestine, Sheikh Abdullah Al-Qusayr on Rafida, Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi in defense of Ibn Abdul Wahhab. Similarly, Sheikh Sulaiman Ar-Ruhaili on lowly status of dunya, Sheikh Muhammad Nasruddin Al-Albani on purpose of life, Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Raslan in admonition about day of judgment. All these were published upon the advice and supervision of Sheikh Yahya Silmi As-Sailani. This is only a short list for the listeners to understand. Al-Sheikh Rabi ibn Hadi Hafidahullah Ta'ala said, The methodology of innovators is to begin with eliminating the scholars. Actually, it is the methodology of Jews, rather the methodology of Masonic Jews. If you want to eliminate an ideology, you have to eliminate the scholars and their personalities therefore may allah bless you distance yourself from this wicked legacy methodology of masonic jews and innovators and respect the scholars 
taken from الحس على المودة والاعتلاف والتحذير من الفرغة والاختلاف. Some of the students and laymen who attend the blessed gatherings of knowledge of such as Sheikh Rabi, Sheikh Muhammad bin Ramzan and other scholars promote his piya when they come out of the majlis. We are witness to this. We see this in Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. Also in social media and secret messages of fitna makers. They follow the Jewish methodology and fight against scholars of Sunnah in their locality. Pretend to be Salafis in some of their majlis. They especially join hands with his Bihun and those criticized by our Mashaykhs in the non-Muslim lands. Why do they not consult these scholars about the Salafi Manhaj and its foundations? We welcome and request all the Mashaykhs of Sunnah and true students of knowledge to take steps to stop the spreading of fitna, causing divisions among Salafis which becomes helpful to his beyuns in our region. This behavior of hypocrisy and slander has been a continuous obstacle to the Dawatu Sunnah, to the spreading the knowledge of Salaf. We hope this message reaches our beloved ulamas of Sunnah and those who cooperate with them. Barakallahu feekum.